flipping the clutch is one of the most important techniques in trials because you are constantly doing it to control your speed and find traction. Anytime the clutch is not fully disengaged or engaged, you are slipping it, controlling the speed of the rear tire. The easiest way to learn to slip the clutch is to go slower than your first gear allows. To do that, you pull the clutch in, apply a little bit of throttle, and let the clutch out slowly but not all the way out and just try to use that in-between space to control your speed. Never let the clutch completely out. Figure eights are a great way to keep it in a tight space and really work on controlling the traction, controlling your speed, and get your turns down nice and slow. You should always have at least one finger on the clutch in a section. There's no reason to ever full fist the bar on the clutch side. You always want to have control because you'll be constantly using it in the section and you never know when you're going to need just a little bit. So you always want to have one finger on it, ready to use it. The next step is to practice aggressive takeoffs. To do that, you start with the clutch in, rev the bike up a bit to get the RPMs built, and then instead of just dumping the clutch, you're going to try to smoothly let the clutch out, slip it for a bit, slip it for the first few feet to try to keep the tire from just, just spinning, and then when you're ready, you can release as much power as you want to get up the obstacle. Once you have some momentum built, this will keep you from just spinning out right away. You can build your speed slowly and controllably, and then let the power out right when you want to. Here's a great example of when you need to slip the clutch. I'm going to be stopped right here and heading up the hill and over that rock, but since it's muddy, I can't just dump the clutch. If I dump the clutch, I'll spin on takeoff, I won't build much momentum, and I probably won't make the rock. So what I need to do is just like before, I need to slip the clutch for the first few feet, build that momentum, build that speed, and then let the clutch out right before the rock. Hopefully I'll have enough traction, and enough speed to be able to make it to the top. And then once my rear tire lands on top, I'm going to be slipping the clutch again to control my speed, control my traction, and control where I want my front tire to land. The only time the clutch is going to be fully disengaged is from when I lift the front tire up until the back tire hits the rock. Once it hits and I know I'm up, then I'll be right back slipping the clutch, controlling what that rear tire is doing. Slipping the clutch is one of the first things you should learn, but it's something you should always work on because it's almost impossible to master. 